Watch Dogs multiplayer. A lot of things need to be explained about the multiplayer. First, there is no multiplayer in the Watch Dogs the way we know it from the previous games like from Assassin's Creed. In Assassin's Creed multiplayer is completely different game. It's like you buy one game, but actually you get two games. Single player and uh, if you want to play multiplayer, it's completely different, you need to reload to play multiplayer. In Watch Dogs there is only one main game. But they don't like to call it single player, because it's online and other people can join your game online. So they call it seamless online. And the first question rises immediately. Well, I don't want anybody bother me when I play in my main game. You can disable it, like close the gate, but developers do not suggest to do this. Firstly, when you are on a mission, the gate is closed. Nobody can intrude, nobody can penetrate into your game. Only when you are in the free roaming mode, the intruders are possible. But also, you have a shield. You have a shield with, which protects you from uh, all the hacking. And this shield is adaptive. And everything depends on your game style. Once you participate in multiplayer sessions, like in online sessions, you go to other games, you participate in hacking other games, you will also become available for the intruders. Is cross-platform communication is available? Yes and no. Actually, you cannot uh, go from PS4 game into Xbox game or even from PS4 to PS3 game. But cross-platform, as they call, that uh, if you have CTOS application on your mobile phone or, or tablet, you can uh, go into any game on any platform. So whom you can hack? For the intrusion and for the tailing, the system pairs you uh, with the pool of players based on your skill level and some other factors. You cannot select anyone by yourself outside of this pool. However, for the racing, yes, there is a racing multiplayer. And uh, for the decryption, you can create private session, private matches. And you can invite people, for example, from your friends list. Skills that you have obtained during the multiplayer, during the online sessions, are always available in your like single player, in your story mode, and vice versa. During the story mode, you gain some skills that are useful during the seamless online play. So when you are in the free roam mode, only one intruder can come into your game. It's not like 20 will come at the same time. No, only one for the intrusion and tailing. And their purpose, they come, they came to your game to steal the data, they didn't came to kill you. From the mobile CTOS application, you can join a game on any platform, any player who is in the free roaming, and set up certain challenges uh, for him. And the application, mobile application is completely free, so actually you can play Watch Dogs without buying the game. But in every type of this online multiplayer, you are still staying within your game and you are still the same Aiden Pierce and you will wear the outfit the same with the story mode. And unfortunately even your teammates cannot see how cool you are, only after watching your videos. So even in the decryption mode, uh, 8 players, 4 team of 4 against another team of 4, you cannot se select the persona to play because you are Aiden Pierce and all others will appear as uh, just as a civilians but you still can choose the color of your multiplayer faction like your team color and faction tags when playing the racing multiplayer the players can use different cars and uh, race on different tracks but all within your world notoriety rating it is used uh, to measure how good you are doing in multiplayer modes. When you win, your notoriety rating is going up. Once you get hacked, your rating will go down. It's a kind of abstergo ladder in AC4. But also, when it goes up, you not just, like in AC4, uh, you unlock some relics. It actually will unlock some specific skills. 
and once you progress with the game and progress with the online experience your notoriety level transfers into the leaderboard which is a little bit confusing but okay later we will see okay less than three weeks left to the release of the watchdogs and i hope we all will have a nice game <laughs>